Welcome back. Now that we have covered flex and flex direction, let's dive into the next set of properties, those related to alignment. In this video, we will focus on the justify content property. This property defines the alignment along the main axis. Let's understand how the different values work through the UI. For better visualization, we will once again render only the first three boxes. Justify content is a property you set on the container to control the alignment of its items. Let's add justify content to the container styles. By default, justify content is set to the value flex hyphen start. This value places the flex items at the beginning of the main axis. Since the main axis flows from top to bottom, the items are placed at the top of the view. You can see that there is no difference when we set justify content to flex start. The second possible value is flex end, which causes the flex items to be placed at the end of the main axis. If I save the file, you can see the items are now placed at the end of the main axis. It is very important to note, box one is not at the bottom. Instead, the entire group of flex items are pushed to the bottom. We can also align the content at the center of the main axis. Set the value to center and save the file. The content is now placed at the center of the main axis. So these are the three properties you would expect for alignment. Align to the top, the bottom, and of course, center. However, Flexbox provides additional values that can control how the extra space is distributed within the container. One such value is space between. When I save the file, you can see the extra space that was left out is evenly split and added in between the flex items. Sometimes you might also want the space before the first item and after the last item. For such a scenario, the value is space around. If I save the file, you can see there is now space at the beginning and at the end. This space is equal to half of the space between the flex items. For example, if the space between the items is 20 pixels, the space at the start and the end would be 10 pixels. Now, if you want the same space at the start and end of the items as well, the value you're looking for is space evenly. If I change the value and save the file, you can see the extra space is equally distributed within the container. A very important point to keep in mind is that the justify content property aligns items based on the main axis. So if we set flex direction to row, which changes the main axis from left to right, Justify content deals with horizontal alignment. If I set justify content to flex start and flex direction to row, you can see all the items are pulled to the left. If the value is flex end, all the items are pushed to the right. Set the value to center, and you have horizontally centered content. I'm going to stop here, but I highly encourage you to try out space between, space around, and space evenly. Let me know in the comment section if the spacing was distributed as you were expecting it to. In summary, the justify content property is used to align items and distribute any extra space in the container. The alignment is always along the main axis. The possible values are flex start, flex end, center, space between, space around, and space evenly. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.